The Toledo women's basketball team opened the 2013-14 season against defending women's NIT champions Drexel in the Glass City Tournament. The Rockets got off to a slow start and found themselves trailing 12-4 with 12 minutes to go in the first half. But they scored 11 in a row to take the lead 15-12. The run was kick-started by back-to-back -back threes from Anna Capitosto and Janelle Reed Lewis. After some back-and-forth play, Drexel pulled out to a five-point lead at halftime 28-23. Drexel extended the lead to 11, 50 to 39 with nine minutes to go before the Rockets mounted a furious comeback. Toledo went on a 9-0 run to make it a two-point game. The Rockets had a balanced attack with six players scoring at least six points. Junior Inma Thenoguera and freshman Janice Monacana both had 11 points apiece to pace the blue and gold. Toledo finished with 13 assists on 20 field goals led by senior Andola Dorch with four dimes. Dorch was also a force on the defensive end, notching five steals. Along with her 11 points, Thin O'Gara led the Rockets with eight rebounds in the game. After Toledo's impressive comeback made the score 52-50, to the Rockets were only able to score two points over the final four minutes as they fell to the Dragons 65-52. to Coming off of last night's loss against Drexel, the Rockets used that as motivation to boost their play in today's game against Mississippi Valley State. The boost in the Rockets' gameplay was definite in tonight's matchup. There were six Rockets in the double digits, Stephanie Recker with 13 points, Anna Capitosto with 11, Janelle Reed Lewis with 10 points, Andela Dorch and Sophie Reacher both with 12 points, and Inma Thonagera topping the charts with 24 points. Inma Thonagera also led the Rockets in boards with 16 rebounds, and she shot 100% from the free throw line, sinking 12 of 12 shots. The Rockets ended this game with 9 total steals and 61 rebounds to the Devilettes' 32 rebounds. The Rockets were victorious with a final score of 95-48. to 48. Coming from a loss like yesterday's wasn't easy. I mean, it was a tough loss. It wasn't easy to swallow, but I couldn't be more proud of the way my teammates responded, the way the coaching staff approached this game, and the energy that we had today, even from the beginning. I think that was awesome, and we need to keep building up from that. We knew that they were really, really athletic, and um, a lot of the focus was on making sure we boxed them out and just making sure that they didn't beat us on the boards because they're a very athletic team. So um, I think we executed that strategy very well tonight, and we're really happy with that outcome. You know, we all knew that yesterday was frustrating, but everybody would judge them more so of how they responded to it. And I was extremely proud of the way they responded today. It was, it was very difficult to come out and lose your opener, especially when there was so much excitement coming around this tournament. But, um, you know, when something like that happens, you've got to think about what's next. And fortunately for us, we had a game the very next day where we could make up for it. Sometimes you've got to wait two, three days or a week. I'm just glad to see us shoot as well as we did. You know, Inma led the charge. She was 10 for 10 the first half from the free throw line. But to see all the rest of the kids step up with a little bit more confidence uh, really paid dividends for us today. The Rockets will be back in action in Savage Arena on Sunday, November 17th at 2 p.m. versus Purdue. See you at the game.